And the second letter, dated February 2010, is an open letter to Catherine Olson. And it starts, my dear Kate, I would much better, rather be speaking to you in person, but that's no longer possible. Since September of 2008, our communication has been severed. This is not my decision. I will never, ever disconnect from you. And I know deep in your heart that you still love me, too. You have been in the Sea Org for nearly 17 years. When I allowed you, then a minor, to join the Sea Org, you signed the staff contract, which states that holidays are three weeks per continuous active year for Sea Org members. And this has never happened. Instead, you were granted three days in Portland in 1996. Now, each time we spoke, and in the letters you wrote me throughout the years, you stated the desire to come home for a visit. During the last visit we had in March of 2008 at the J. Paul Getty Museum in LA, you told me that you would come and visit soon. Kate, remember the postcards you bought for me at the museum that day? You wrote me notes on the back of them. It said, Dear Mom, these postcards are to remind you of our day together, to remind you that we are, will always be in communication, no matter the distance, to remind you that you raised a happy, healthy, contributive person, to remind you that I will visit you, to remind you that I love you. All my love, Catherine. Now, I believe you were sincere because as a child, you were always honest with me. The OSA handler, Beth, gave me her word that she would help you get the time off, re, uh, get the time off request pushed through. Beth and I shook hands and, and I told her that I was trusting her word and that I would hold her to that promise. Beth said she would do everything that she could. However, when I returned, returned to Portland, some stipulations were presented to me. Beth told me on the phone that I couldn't associate with certain people. In a phone conversation with you, you wanted me to give you the numbers of, uh, the names rather, of former Scientologists and critics I had been in contact with and the websites I had been visiting. Because I refused to disclose this information, you were not granted a vacation. Instead, we were tricked, lied to, and now we are disconnected. I can't reach you by phone. I don't even know if you received my letters, cards, or gifts. As I said in our last phone conversation, which was September 2008, I will continue to scream from the mountaintop. I will not be silenced. I love you. My heart and my door will always be open to you. I am still waiting for your arrival in Portland for the vacation that we have been promised. With love, your mother, Susan Lynch. So with that, I thank you for coming and I thank you for your attention. Um, I, I hope we get together again soon because uh, there are more stories out there to be told and there are more people ready to tell their stories. So you folks in the media, keep digging because there's plenty of stories to be uh, shared. Thank you so much.